I don't like how you two are staring me down. Fuck beak. Right, Caligo, you gotta take care of your mate. Now I got feathers. Oh! Little baby unicorn! Oh, it's a Palomino. I actually know what it's done. They're supposed to be golden in color. Whoa! Playing this game for months, and I just realized that your house crest is on top of the book. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's the little things, you know. Yeah, well, I I don't notice those things, I guess. All right, hey guys and gals, welcome back to the adventures of Balter Kickenbottom in Hogwarts. So, as promised, I did do something in here. I was trying to go for a Stonehenge look. And just about the best I could do with the stuff I had available. And we also had a bit of a baby boom in the vivariums. So here's Shadowfax, our, our new baby unicorn. He's, he's a little skittish. <laughs> Aww. A good scratch. So Prancer has a friend now. Let's go check out some of the other the other babies. And it's still Christmas time at Hogwarts, so we got our tree up. Deek, out of the way. I'm going to give you a sock. There's our baby puff skein. It's so small you could step on it. it would... And... I don't think the Babely Niffler is ready yet. Oh, 19 seconds. We're wait. Oh, they lay eggs like uh, platypus do. Platypuses are weird animals. They're mammals that have venom and lay eggs. One. Oh my god! That is adorable! <laughs> and you have purple fur! Patches, we don't eat that. No. No. Good, Neasel. Um, what's a good name for him? Oh god, it looks like Donald Duck. There we go. Donald the Niffler. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho. He's gonna like it here. And I think we have some moon calf calves. That is really hard to say. Oh, nope, 17 minutes for that. Oh, I didn't notice that. Just hang a moon above him. This moon calf looks actually looks like a cow. Let's see, since you look like a cow, you're Bessie. This is our stud. So studly. <laughs> Bluey kablooey, there we go. Alright, enough of this nonsense. Let's actually, let's actually go start the episode. Alright, so we're gonna go meet Poppy near Irondale and hopefully actually go start that mission with the centaurs. The map just stopped working for a second. If I sound a little nasally today, it is spring here at the house and... All the trees on our neighborhood have flowered. It's very pretty and very miserable at the same time. All right. Up, up, and away! I still cannot afford the super speed broom. It is like eight, eight grand. Candles, Stonehenge. This looks romantic. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. You made it. Well, Baldrick never keeps a lady waiting. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Those are some big bees. It just started flying toward me. Moonstone Garden? Sounds like the name of a Quidditch arena. Oh, wait, need to... There we go. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? 
That guy came out of nowhere. What was that noise? Oh, that was chopping cabbage. Couldn't bring up. <clears throat> well, so I need that for something. Lumos. Lumos. out of the way first. Oh. Okay, so that goes there. Now where did that go? Lumos. Lumos. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I just break the game? Okay, maybe I didn't need it. Maybe this is just a treasure map thing. We'll just press on and ignore that. Oh, Foopers! Whoa! I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. That is gorgeous! That's a kaleidoscope of fooper fever for like typically playing. If the moonstone is here and so are whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Something's in here. Why am I not surprised? First the Foopers and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Oh, there's a lot of unhappy things in the next room. <clears throat> I need to find where the fuck are these moths at? Revelio. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Okay. Okay, so protection symbol, uh, circular lines. Accio. 
There's one. Lumos. Lumos. Don't lose it this time. Don't fuck it up. Potato. Okay, Triketa Protection Symbol. Akio. If we pull the rings and match the room, Lumos. I suspect we'll find the moths. Thank you, Poppy Darling. I'm I'm done with being dumb. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. 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 Merlin, it's beautiful. Oh, you need three. Okay, well, I got it anyway, so it's... Ooh, will that fall the moment I take the moth away, though? How are flooper songs supposed to drive you mad? That sounds pretty. I mean, that's like something out of a Disney film. <clears throat> Lumos. Snow White and the 8,000 Foopers. You did it! Oh, that's a lot of duck bogs. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Bombarda. Oh, cool carvings on the wall. Mermaid, Greyhounds. Yeah, that, apparently, there was a nude woman, but I got uh, censored. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Found our way into the Fooper Sanctuary. Oh, that is pretty. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here, I just know it.
Revelio. Confringo. Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Hmm. Good for once to be a step ahead. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. I wonder if I can grab any of these. No? Okay, they're just in the background. Let me Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. Let's snave some I snidgets. Think that's it over there. Ooh, that's a long way down. Ah, you're not gonna let me fly. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Revelio. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Whoa! <gasps> oh, hello! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. 
More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. Yes. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Yeah, that sucks about her parents. Though it explains why she's so passionate about this. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. I think I've seen this part of the grounds before. Oh. <laughs> Let's go speak to Natty. She <clears throat> seems a little down. I don't know why you don't just get a snitch from inside. Because I told you, I can transfigure one. Oh, cool. Ooh. Well thrust. Psycho! Repair. 
I don't know if I can't fix them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Whew. Oh god, my stomach hurts now. That was fucking funny. <laughs> Revelio. What is going on with the suits of armor today? Some days are more difficult than others. What's going on, Natty? Natty, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. A lot of pain and suffering in these, these poor kids. I'm not really familiar with that tradition of wrapping ribbons around the tree. Oh, they took the Gryffindor banners down. Ah, bastards. I think I'll go to Hogsby Walker. I'll see if I can get the... Uh the last upgrade to the broom and then we'll end the episode there. Where am I going the right way? I think I am. <clears throat> yeah, there's Hawkman.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh god, I can't remember where your shop is. Oh, right... Right fucking behind me, that's where it is. You're back! Nice to see you again. Good fucking go, why does that cost so much? What are we looking for today? God, I'm just 300 short. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. How do I get money quickly? Flutes and loots? Revelio. Did you find my pointy pony? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Woman wants me to find her dildo. A young student, I don't know anything about that. Revelio. Oh, good fucking timing. Just the right amount of money I needed. I don't want to find your pointy pointy. This man is being harassed by books. <clears throat> You're back. Nice to see you again. With your exorbitant prices. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Well, you're not going to give me any more upgrades, so I'm not going to be back. No. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> That's really quick now. That uh old -oh, dead end. Revelio. The texture is not loading in completely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, look at you. <laughs> look at you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. oh, this is so. You are so adorable. <laughs> well, that's all we have for this episode, folks. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, oh. Studley, look at your baby. Stop staring at me. <laughs> all right, we'll see everyone in the next video. Peace out.